There we go. I should really do this from outside, but I don't want to get my wheel stuck again in that muddy grass. Oh, it was horrendous out there. My candy canes are finally outside. Not many in the ground floor flats tend to bother with outside decorations. Me, on the other hand, I was like, yeah, baby, let's get them out. Um, one Christmas tree. The Christmas tree originally was mum and dad's. Um, I said to them after the Christmas, what, about three years ago now, I said, what are you going to do with the tree after? Because... It's in root, it's rooted and it's fab and I don't want it sort of getting, you know, you could do something with it, put it in the ground, have it in a tub, put some lights on it next year. And they were like, oh no, no, don't want to do all that kind of thing. So I said, can I have it? And they were like, yeah, if you want it, you can have it. So, and then when we moved to this house, I had it built round to me round to this house, it's flat, <laughs> we keep calling it a house, um, and I just love it, I could open the window I suppose, but then I'll risk losing my phone out the window, although we are in a ground floor flat so it doesn't really matter, but I just love it, I just think it's gorgeous, and then the tree, so our tree is just a little pop-up tree, just a little pop-up tree, it's only small, it's, I don't know, six foot I think, or is it five, six foot I think, Um, just a small pop-up tree, it's really easy, you've got a base and then all you have to do is just slide all the poles together and then the very top one has got like a little hole and a bung in it for the, um, for the top of the tree to slide into this weight and then you just pull it down and you've got all the lights on and the decks on i mean last year i did put oh god my feet hurt so badly my legs are hurting so bad ah um last year i've got decorations that i've sifted through and i've kept the best ones that i like and love and you know you have your favorite ones and i still like to decorate it so what I do is, with this tree, is I got some um, Christmas deck tree hooks and I just attached some of the decorations onto the tree and it looked really, really pretty. But yesterday I popped this up for the first time and with having the kittens, I weren't sure how they were going to keep messing with it. And I'm pretty tree OCD, I've got to admit. I don't like my tree decks being messed with and my tinsel and all that stuff. So... I just thought, right, just leave it like this and see how they get on. And if usually it's in the window, the tree. So usually we only moved here last August, last year. Um, so we've been here a year. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but hey. Um, so this is our second Christmas here. The first Christmas we had, um, the tree was in the window. But now we don't have that tree in the window we have this tree in the window <laughs> but because they're so snuggled up to the radiator and everything i thought i'll leave the tree there of that tree and put that tree over there you can tell i'm a cat lover <laughs> it's like i'll make do with over there in the corner and it's small it's not a huge tree um Last year I did have the fibre optic tree, but then the 1st of December it decided to break down and stop working. It was really, really noisy, really dodgy. So, yeah. So this tree is officially up. And today the kittens haven't bothered with it at all. They're not interested. They're like, I think they think it's really boring. Because all the baubles that they like, well, the balls that they love are all on the floor. I'm still sorting through um, unpacking bits that I've got, I've got DVDs and I've got all sorts, I've got things that some DVDs are in the bottom of my cupboard and look at Minnie fast asleep in the donut bed and the cup, some of the DVDs are just thrown in the cupboard in there and I keep meaning to have a sift through 
but it's like one of those to-do lists that you just think yeah I'll do it in a minute in a minute and then with health and everything I'm like I'm really struggling oh god my legs really really hurt my arthritis and my skin is so sore and swollen up and everything. It's really, really horrible. So I'm just doing little bits at a time. And I mean little bits as well. My bedroom, which at the minute, my bed, I struggle with the single bed that I've got. Um, I'm literally, I'm half hanging on and half off because um, I've got a twisted knee joint that I was born with. So it's like I need extra room for the leg. Um, because of how my joint is twisted so the single bed that I had given me which was hardly ever used and everything which was really nice of somebody that I know to donate it to me if I wanted it and it's an electric bed but it just does not fit me on it properly at all and I felt really unsafe so the plan of action for me I've got a mattress and I've been sleeping on the sofa since i don't know about june july something like that and i'm hoping one day to be able to get a bed sorted out but at the minute it's like it's not on the to-do list right this minute i'm trying to get a few bits that i feel are essential for me for the home that need doing first and foremost and i'm waiting for the kitchen to be done um when i get my assessment done i'm going to inquire about a bed and whether they can put me into a grant scheme or something to help me with getting a bed that is more suited for me and my my body shape and my health issues so we'll see what happens and if they can't then i know i've got a plan b up my sleeve um and even a plan c if i had to <laughs> You know, there's a few options out there, but for the time being, it's like I'm making do with the sofa and a mattress topper that's on the bed on the sofa that I call my bed, and I've got so used to it now. I do call it my bed, but my bedroom is like being slowly sorted through, and bits that I've that I've never got round to unpacking that are in boxes still. But I'm like, yeah, I'll sort that out later. And now slowly being sorted through. Um, most of it is probably stuff that will end up thrown away or sent to charity. But it's like having the energy and being not in too much pain for too long. To be able to sift through these items. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, when I was in a house, I had more wall space and stuff. So there's things like pictures and plates and stuff that are going to end up being donated. Um, we'll see, though. Because I don't like getting rid of everything that I've got. And I'm just, yeah, taking the time with things. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping that we'll get the, win the Christmas period out of the way. Because I think... Everything, I did phone up to check to see where I am on the list for this, the big renovations, because it's things like um, my living room window. Um, my living room window um, needs yanking out and French doors put in. So I'll have a ramp access and everything so I don't get stuck in the mud and I've got an access I can get into my flat with a lot easier than the mall in the front door, which is super heavy. And when you've got bags and a wheelchair and you're trying to manoeuvre with a gear, a joystick like this baby here, it becomes really, really difficult. So, yeah, plan of action is to just um, do what I can do, basically. Um... I've phoned up to see where in the list I am because I've been waiting well over a year now and the lady that I spoke to in the department that I've needed to be at she says you have been given permission for these adaptions hey <laughs> yes yes um I've been given permission for these adaptions 
um but it is at the minute just waiting on the next stage which is the ot to come out and she will do an assessment through the eyes of my health issues and things that need doing so things like the doors needing um i need my doorways widening my son needs a door in his room that's a two-way opening so it's safe um bathroom needs a two-way door um my kitchen doorway needs widening bedroom doorway needs widening and then it'll be um the kitchen itself needs making safe and lowering the sides to my physical health issues sorry it's all turned this way but i don't think i can turn it round or can i oh i can <laughs> there's me been rattling away for ages and i'm like oh I can do it after all on the other phone I couldn't but this one I can oh so yeah um so the plan of action is to wait now for the adaptions to the OT to come out to do her little checklist and then they've got to work out the costings um and I also want a car parking space adapt like basically a sign for me because I have neighbours if I don't give a monkeys really about, um, you know, the fact that I've got health issues and they park in the blue badge spots. And most of the time I've got my space, no problem. But sometimes it's like people just don't give a monkeys about other people. And, you know, the fact that they've got a, a physical need and I need my back door to be open so I can get to my seat and for my power chair, so what do you think today's wig? I am loving this. This is one that I got from a pre-loved group where the lady, um, she wore it, she tried it on, she didn't like it. Um, she liked one with fringes, so she ended up just selling it. It had all the labels on and everything. And I really like this. I like the the light blonde it really does suit my skin type so there we go just love it it's cute it's fun it's me um i'm really liking all the natural ones a bit more than the than the colored ones at the minute so yeah yeah but anyway um so yeah i'm waiting now on which I think will be after Christmas because I think everything, all the offices are on the wind down now for Christmas. Um, give it a couple of weeks and it'll be the office shutdowns and things. So Muggins here is going to just um, wait till after Christmas and then give them another push and see what's going on. So there's my makeup for today as well. There you go. Right, shall love and leave. Tatty bye. Tra -ha.